Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekend Show. Yes, we're back, we're back with young commentators. We've got Ben and we've got Dan. Dan. Where's Dan been? I've been back from Spain. Um, happy to be here. Back from Spain, one month away? Come yeah. on, you've got to tell us all about it. What was your holiday like anyway? All right, so it was really good. I've been going there for the past five years now, but it's you, you don't get bored of it. Like It's been dead fun because I've got some family over there, so it just boosts up because I've got loads of people to play with, like such as my older sister and cousins. What were the checks like, the, the COVID checks, things like this? When you... Well, believe it or not, I went on the boat the over from Portsmouth down to Santander, which is northern Spain, and then uh, out of like three cars from the entire ferry got pulled over, it had to be us. And then there's my dad trying to sh just trying to get all of like COVID passports for negative COVID tests and vaccines, and they just couldn't find them. So we were there for half an hour and we delayed on for one half an hour. And it wasn't just yourselves, was everyone sort of caught up in all this as well? Uh, no, only three. Oh. Well, like, I only picked on you, picks. yeah. To you, mate, that's not fair, is it? No, it's just, I've been done, right, here's the next car, call me. <laughs> so what's it like to be back? Really good, yeah. And what's it like to be back in the studio? I'm really excited for it, because I've gotten for eight weeks before, um, I'm back away for a week, I'm mm -hmm. off. You're back away from back to Spain. <laughs> what are we doing wrong, folks? Well, anyway, I'm going away on the fourth, so we we'll talk a, a little bit later about that. So there we go. Dan's just told us about his holiday. Yeah. Ben, where were you? Come on, tell us where go you on. were yesterday. Um, so I, um, my mum had said to me, I think it was a couple of days ago, that she'd um, saw something um, for me to, um, to do, um, and. It turns out it was um, with the LFC Foundation. Um, I've been with them. Um, I've been like um, going to some of their training um, camps before. Um, I've been to Kirby uh, before, and I actually met Harvey Elliott there once at uh, that time. And then, uh, um, but this time um, it was at Melwood, and uh, and then um, I was because my um, granddad, because um, my granddad. Uh, my granddad's team um, was called Wilco and Robbie Fowler, who now owns Melwood, um, used to play for them when they were younger. Uh, he was, his brother was there and I, I was talking to him about Robbie Fowler, the player for my granddad. And then um, we was on all, um, it wasn't just football that day, we was on, um, we was on a couple of other sports as well. And then, but then in the afternoon we played football and I, and then we, we we had a tournament, and we done it as, and then I think the well the first two games, and um, we done it as like a World Cup. So um, our my team's country was um, Uruguay, and then we lost the first two games two one, um, and then we we didn't get the se um, get to the semis, but um, the other the four teams that didn't get to the um, semis played like um, one game each. Um, and we and we won um, our game for um, three nil, um, so at least we won one. Well, that's brilliant. Um, but do you know when you put on that post there, and we were talking there before, and it went through my head there. It took me going. Soon as you mentioned Melbourne, you'd automatically think Liverpool Football Club, all up players. You forget yeah. that they've all moved to yeah. the academy in yeah. Kirby. Yeah. yeah. It's still to make you one thinking. Wow, Ben's going to meet all the players now, isn't it? And it's all in my head. Mm. It's all the years, but. Obviously, yeah. you didn't get to play but, in the um, I uh, Well, it was good that I saw um, that Robbie Fowler's brother was um, was there. Um, but the day before, um, it was I think it was ten to, um, ages ten to eleven. Um, the art, um, basically um, Robbie Fowler and um, Jane Cargo out in um, Melbourne now. Um, they were they um, came down the day before, and um, but yeah. Uh, when we um, played for it was quite it was quite good as well. Um, the inclusers um, the people who didn't get to the final um, in the in, like in the final so um, we were all supporters for each team oh, and it was it was England versus Brazil 
and um, Brazil had seven supporters out of like four, 40 other people there and I was one of them seven supporters for them and they won 3-0 so yeah but we put um, Liverpool like had left to got um, to like big those big goals that they have and um, there and everything else had just gone with them um, and to to Kaylee and now um, and we use they used them in the final, but we had an opportunity to score on them, and I actually um, did because we done a shoot um, a shooting drill and um, I saw it in them, and um, it was it was really good. So um, the facilities are all still the same um, as the way they. Well, we were gonna be shown like around in size, but it was it's now been turned into a vaccination um, oh, centre. Okay. So um, we've but like. It, it was good because we like it, I'd like it always so we always drive past and you can all you can see is like big huge um gates and then um but that's because Liverpool like own there but uh, Did you take the curtains with them? Um no, they're the just they're there still up there. Um, the curtains, anyone wants set of curtains to still there. <laughs> <laughs> they them um the but like I've recognised all the um, or like the where they have like inside all them um, great like gates they have that those big huge green ones around like the pitch and it's actually uh, remembered that from like watching a few uh, Liverpool training sessions on online. So it's enjoyable. Yeah. So Robbie Fowler's yeah, done a good job. Yeah. Hasn't he? Um, the, the grass is still a bit like um, it's too few sand holes um, there, but it's it's quite good. Oh right, yeah. okay, that's different. So it's not getting mm. looked after as good. Well, Need the grounds yeah, run back. No, not right. as much, but um, it, it will. We've only owned it for like, I think it was about a month or so. So, um, Robbie, 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 pull your finger out. Come on, get these sandals fixed. Come I've on. I've just seen like it was just, um, I've, like I think in the ground. So it wasn't like on the actual pitch, but like, um, it's it's quite good anyway. Good. Not so way uh, you'd recommend it to other kids who go yeah, and enjoy it. Yeah. You're gonna enjoy it. Robbie Fowler's a cat. They do them a couple um every couple of months because um, I always see them advertised. Yeah. And it was good because it's not just football as well. It's like multi-sport. Yeah, it was multi-sports. That's very good to hear. So Dan, you missed a bit of football, but you've obviously been following it while you've been away. Yeah. So what do you both think now we've got to the start of the season the Premier League? Yeah. Liverpool, Everton, how do you think you've started? Well, I think we've had a real good start where we've got a draw out with Leeds at Ellen Road, which is a hard stadium to win at, such as what happened with last season, as we beat Leicester, which I was really surprised about. But then, with the first game week against, I can't remember actually, but it was we won, and I was really happy about it. Oh yeah, it was 3-1 against Southampton. And then yeah. tomorrow night we've got Brighton. I saw that. Yeah, but the Southampton game. It wasn't a three one score line though, was it? Mm, it was well, Southampton played pretty good football good. on that day. Especially for Everton. Yeah. yeah. Everton are a mid table team but around that. Is that an Evertonian saying that? Yeah, amazing <laughs> in the mid table. Ooh, do you still think so? Do you still yeah. think you'll finish the table believe, or I don't believe we're good enough to win the league just yet. But it, is that because day. you've got weaker players, do you think so? Yeah, we just need to play hard and try and win. But, yeah. Mm. You need someone like you know, Ronaldo you told about before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish. I wish, he says. Mm. What do you think about Liverpool? How do you think of you started? They've uh, started brilliantly. I uh, can't remember where they are on the table now. Um, I think you just rubbed it in? Third. Yeah, I think it may be. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, um, yeah, I th yeah, because I think it's on. Um, because we've, because Chelsea won, I think they've got the Chelsea, same. Chelsea, that's going to be a tough one this weekend, isn't it? I think oh, it is. Well, oh, yeah. yeah, I think it is actually first the second, because I think Chelsea are actually first. I so I'm going to know what. Oh they're, they're no, saying. it's West Ham. I oh, was it. It's West Ham. Oh, they're it's on the table because they played Leicester because they beat Leicester for four one. Oh they, yeah. I, I never never take. Yeah, I was, when a I couple of games got I never yeah. never take. No, no, just wait don't, yeah. Till everyone's played two at least once. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like second. It, it, they both are in top four, but it's it's a really, it's a really good game to look at because Chelsea, I was, was me now about they've got Lukaku who's um, just sat, just came back and even got a goal in his debut. 
and he, he's an amazing player. Um, but then you've that's a, that, that was like his first game, and it's surprising to see that he got a goal in it. But um, you've got for Liverpool. I know you've got like Salah and Firmino, but I think the uh, key player for Liverpool this I think going to be the key player for Liverpool this season, like in the title race, is Diogo Jota. And, um, yeah. and he he's has he scored in both games like um and um yeah because we um well he's the only player in the Liverpool teams that have scored in both games because we won the first game um three 0 with um Jota um Roberto Firmino um and Mo Salah scored. Firmino he's put him on the bench a lot. Yeah, he, it's because I think it's because he he see, he wants to give Jota quite a few games and see how he is, but he's he's just been amazing. I think he's going to take it. Um, he will take. Uh, I'm pretty sure he will take that place, but the player who I'm hoping does actually get it, um, I, I, I don't think come off the bench tonight because he deserves a start, um, um, well, his Premier League de um, debut um, is Canate, um, to st he needs to st um, start tomorrow because um, we do need to be extremely strong against Chelsea at the back because Lukaku will just run Absolutely. at us. Um, but, it's good to see that we've got Van Dijk back, which will, because last season... If so we you won think a, Van Dijk could have something like Lukaku in his pocket, though? Yeah, he, he will. He's you know, been, Lukaku's been in the Premier League before, isn't he? He's, been, he's uh, not special. Five years, and he went to United for three. Yeah, yeah and he's been there for many years. We've which, managed to keep hold of Lukaku a few times when he played for Everton. Um, for Chelsea, you can, uh, quite a more... Attack on sides. But the thing is, do you think Van Dijk is strong enough to keep hold and just be turn back and recovery? Yeah, because well, Lukaku is really strong. Yeah, um, I think he's held up Ramos once. Yeah, so I think he will be able to um, be able to, but it's just about it's going to be a close game. I know that because both sides have got really good Great. attacking players and defending all across the field. They've got um, brilliant quality players um, and they're just... Well, the best form yeah. of attack is defence, Yeah. isn't it? That's what all managers tell us. That's what we all look at. So who's yeah. got the best attacking formation, well, do you think? To look at as well, well, and attacking, Chelsea... With Chelsea, oh. you've got Mason Mount, he's a midfielder. Yeah, but he can push up as well. He's a pushing midfielder. Yeah, well, he can stay back. The kind of the same, kind of the um, same like amount of quality attacking because you can always change up. But now we can't really because we just got rid of um, Shakiri. But he wasn't really getting the game. Um, and I think we um, we saw it coming that he was going. Yeah. Um, and I actually thought he was going on loan and to like check that he was literally gone. Um, but I yeah, saw so it was coming and but another team that's always on, on the cards for tight race is Manchester City. Um and that game um at the weekends they just went out. Um, they just to Norwich. Yeah. Well, not to Norwich, to City um, to Norwich. They just Ran all over Norwich. Um, not they just they can see to can see five goals. You must have clearly done something wrong. Mm -hmm. And he, um, <coughs> now just manager need um, needs to just have a. Well, Grealish yeah. scored his also. first goal, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. That was a did, he, did he know anything about it? <laughs> no, I don't. I haven't actually seen it. Well, if you watch it, yeah. it, it looks like, like a I, couldn't, in. I couldn't have celebrated. Um, Maybe no. I'd scored that. I'd just gone. Oh, well, 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 so I, I think it was a cross in. in. And I think it was a deflection off a defender or the goalkeeper or someone. And Grealish was just stuck in the back post and he just knocked it in. Right so it was a bit of a really lucky I goal. I don't know why. Right that, position at the right time. Why right. that wasn't moved really off side there? It wasn't, no, because it was the keeper and the and Oh, the yeah, because it comes off the defender. Is, no, but it, if he was offside from when the ball was played, he wasn't because mm. it was... A, he tried to cross it in because he was keeping it in for the touch line. Oh yeah. And he was on the post. It's slightly it's it's strange. It's just a strange goal. Yeah. Um, what well, what what you've watched up to now? Who do you think title favourites? What you see on all the days? 
It's oh, just a few. It's early days. There's, there's a few you can name. Sissy, Chelsea. There's, there's just you, there's a few, it's basically the usual sides, but there's a few sides that you can look at to see how, well, to just see um, about um, Goodby. Um, you look, um, and there's like um, Watford as well. Um, I think they will get top um, top ten. Yeah. I, I don't think they'll get um, bottom off the table. Um, but they will. Be, I don't think pushing as high as um, a conference league, um, in conference league, which I don't Seven. even understand one little bit. And like I thought, if you qualify, if you get in that qualifying space that you're in the Conference League, but apparently if you're not. The Conference League is, if you because you've got the 1, 2, 3, 4 position, which is Champions League, and you've got your 5th position, which is champ, uh, with the Europa League. I think it's 5th, is it 5th no, or 6th? No, it's not. It changed no. The 6th is the Conference League. Oh, is it? Because Leicester last season, they didn't, Leicester didn't make top 4, did they? No. No, I don't Wait, wasn't it Tottenham? It was only in the Conference League. Yeah, Tottenham went into the Conference League because they finished sixth. Oh, did they? Because Le- if Leicester, because they won the FA Cup, FA Cup automatically qualifies for the Europa yeah. League. Whereas um, that yeah. opens up the seventh place. If Leicester, didn't, if Leicester came in eighth and ninth, yeah. that means it opens up the sixth spot where Spurs went into for the Conference League. Yeah. Or supposed to be in the Conference League for many. I don't even like, but like the setup of the Conference League. I don't. Get I, it. I don't get it. I thought it was just like group stages, quarterfinals, se- um, like round sixteen, quarterfinals, semi-finals, and then final. But apparently, it's, it's all because we're somewhere. based in the Premier League, isn't it? Yeah. We take more notice to that. And then there's that. So without being disrespectful yeah. to the Conference or the rest of the Premier League, mm. what about the Champions League? Yeah. That. Them changes that have just recently been made, I I think it's ma- it's going to make it a lot better. I agree. And the because of the rule the of goals. the away goal will um of that because that of local that just makes all the sides just just panic um a lot more. And because not say you were you won like four nil away, it's complete. It's kind of completely impossible then because. Um, it's gonna make your job goals. harder by scoring five goals instead of just four. So yeah, more, more heads will drop on them. Yeah. yeah. You know. And, and he's just gonna have to. So I'll probably just go straight to penalty. Yeah. And then four the. Four. Um. But that um. That rule of where um, English teams if they play on a Wednesday night, it uh, like on a Wednesday night in the Champions League the um. They will not play um, an early kickoff because um, I think it was one or two seasons ago. Um, Liverpool played a game on Wednesday night and they got beat one 0 to um, Atalanta, and uh, um, and then they had to play a game at half twelve on a Saturday morning. Yeah, um, last just, season United complained. I think they need to change it as well with the Europa League because there's closer, there's there's closer. Yeah. And United complained last season because of that. They had the Wednesday night kickoff for the Champions League or Europa League. Mm. It was Europa League, and they played on the Saturday. Mm. And, but they were complaining because Liverpool played on the Tuesday and on the Sunday. Yeah. So they had a two get a two day gap range. So I would have personally, I would have swapped the Liverpool and the United game around. But yeah. Well, it all depends. Not. There's a lot of cup games coming up, isn't it? Cause yeah. I can't really remember what all the. Uh, um, all the Premier League um, matches are this weekend, but the only one I remember is Liverpool um, Chelsea. But then, um, on the topic of Champions League, with the group stage draw, um, I think, personally, because I'm a Liverpool fan, I think it's just... Um, Liverpool will make it. I think we will make it, but I'm not... I'm hoping, up, I'm I'm hoping we make it, because against the... The side that I'm dreading facing is Atletico Madrid because they beat us. So yeah. won't they be dreading facing yeah. us as well? Yeah. But we haven't seen them before. Breaks both ways, doesn't it, in teams yeah. in Champions League? I we think always stand off each other. And P- um, PSG and City are both in the same group. And 
they're definitely, I think, looking at their, their, um, their group, I think they will um, get through those two. But Because um, if you think um, PSG, they've, they've got Messi, which is just really going to make um, what they boost attack. it. But they've also, Name there's been rumours about um, Ronaldo and... I think if Mbappe goes to Real Madrid, all of them, which I hope, I won't um, give up. I won't give then, up. Then they will open the space for um, Ronaldo. But some of them players that are actually at the club, like Akazi, we've all forgot about him, and Akazi. he's just he he should he should deserve to play. But the bringing in all these players, they, I don't think they need. The they don't need all these like Hakimi. It's it's in the same yeah, as Manchester um, City. So they need all these players because they're gonna be on the I'm hoping that Ronaldo just well, he could end up as a free agent. So that's what, um, yeah. Everton as we if said you earlier think on. About it though, could um, end up. Well he's with um apparently he's going to be paying um for twenty five million. That's how much is, is that, that a week? Um it, no, it's um, 25 million to just pay for them. Um, oh, and then. Um, so he probably pays all wages. He hasn't got a release clause. Um, he should be putting that in if he's just the very villain player. Um, but he was. It, I don't, his wages aren't really anything to worry about because he, his he's wages got aren't anything, anything like Messi's. As I say, and he he's got a lot of money yeah. anyway, yeah. so he just. He will, he'll be fine with whatever, and he, goes, he just football. wants to play. He, he doesn't bother about money. He just wants to play um, football. That's what he wants. And he will, and he just. I, I hope he doesn't go to PSG because it, they're it's just, just they're just buying so many players, and it's just not making it fun. It, it's just a sad. They Mark will, my words. What's Man, Ch- be Man City and PSG? Yeah. Stepping on their own toes. He, these players. I don't know why PSG need these players because. They win the league every year. If they like, no, they, they well, I'm more much uh, yeah. yeah, well, nearly every year they win, and it's like once every ten, like ten seasons, someone else wins. Um, but they, um, they just, um, I don't, they don't need them. It, them I think they need just one amazing, like one world class player, of which I don't think it should be messy, um, messy, but if you think about it, they've had two of the world's best players for free, um, Ramos and um, Messi, and it's just... Yeah, well, just, we'll see how it pans out, can't we? So what we'll have to do yeah. is come to the end of our show, um, we'll just tell our listeners, our viewers, that the young commentators won't be back next week, I'm away on holiday, so it'll probably be a recorded show. Then they'll do a Zoom, but we'll upload it, so I'll let you see what's going on there, because there could be a little bit of an interview. Did you want to ask me a question then? Uh, yeah, uh, how did your three peaks get on? Well, I'm glad you said that, you know, lads. Look, look at the medal, look at this. Three peaks medal, I've done it, actually done it. I've got to wear it, I've got to be proud of it, because at the end of the day, it was the hardest thing I've done in my life. Yeah. And anyone who can go out and do any sort of mountain, climb mountain, You've got my respect. We'll talk about that another day because, um, as I say, we come to the end of the show and we'll do something we'll talk about because it is an achievement. And Speed on Rick, he's doing well, yeah. very well as well. So we've, we'll fill a lot in with the lads um, and there'll be more back because a few are still away on holiday, as you can see. I'm going away. But we've got to say, these lads are absolutely brilliant and the knowledge of their football as well. So we're going to do the show, but we'll say we'll do a Zoom. Get some celebrity in, they can do the Zoom, you can watch it, you can give your verdicts, they're going to be confident, the celebrities are going to be worried, and I'm going to be made up, myself and Wayne, to listen and to watch when they come out to interview these celebs. So, without further ado, Dan, Ben, you've been brilliant, we're saying good night to you, from yourself, the young commentators, respect, don't cross the line, hearts of gold initiatives, we wish you a very good evening, so from the lads, myself, Have a great one. Put your feet up. We'll see you tomorrow at 7pm.